Hi, today I'm back with a tutorial and I'll be showing you how to draw manga eyes. So, I'll be opening out a flash and I'll be mostly the continuation of the other tutorial. So, I'll be drawing on the head shape and with all the air and stuff. So, yeah, so now what I'll do is that I'm opening the the last file that we did together, okay? So, good. So, now I have it and I'll mostly zoom in. So, what you want to do is that you want to just have the head shape, so just unshow those. So you will, yep. Yeah. So now you will add a line in the middle, like this, and one at the end of the circle shape, and another one near the jaws, like this. Mostly we'll where it's starting. Okay. So good. So now you remove the lines that we don't need, and what we're doing is that we want to locate it. So just put it in the middle of this zone. So here, it's here and remove again the, the the line this line okay so now just add another layer make sure it's on top of the head shape and you can call it eyes or whatever and yeah so now you want to add a circle for the pupil and try make sure it's in the middle so I suggest that you make your circle and you put it in the middle not too big not too uh, small just perfect size I mean yeah good so now I set the color blue because I like blue anyways and you want to draw the eyelashes so just draw it like this okay like this and make sure that you're on the highest layer because if you're not like it won't be good so I'll zoom in to make sure it's all perfect and you notice that the highest is maybe a little bit too too big so you can maybe just select like this and play with it like this, okay? And yeah, that's good. So now you want to resize the whole thing, so you just resize it like this. And not resize, I mean just reshape it. And now you just add a line like this, and one like this, and another one like this, because you don't want to touch. You don't want to touch the circle because if you touch it, like I mean, you will mess the whole drawing thing and it won't go like the way you want. Okay, so now you want to have the black color, so you just had it like this, like this, and yeah, it's pretty good. And just try to reshape it and make sure it's not too thicker, not too, I mean, not too like, like not like looking like it like not like a manga I mean and yeah so good so now we have the thing so now what you want to do is you want to have a line here and another line here why because you want to have the white color like this so it's more simple and you just if you want just make the eyes a little bit wider because it will help to look at a little bit more looking like a manga and add those stuff too it helps yeah and uh, after it if you want not if you want but I suggest you to reshape reshape it and make it a little bit rounder which is currently use a word that I use currently because I'm drawing on the mouse yeah so now, what you want to do is that you want to draw the the eyebrows, okay? So you just do a line like this, and just line all here, okay? And after you reshape it, just put it like this, and put it a little bit rounder. This part, like this, a little bit, and more, it's like this, yeah? And... Yeah, we have something looking like it. Okay, we can even more play with it. You know, if you don't like the way it is, or yeah, um, and you can add the black color if you want. So I also like the black color and just add it. If you don't like it, like you can still play with it. Anyways, I'll be doing this in the second part of that video which I will post in I will post soon and yeah so we have it so now 
I just want to unshow those to make sure how it's looking so we don't need those lines again we we'll just need the middle line okay so good so this line too we don't need it it's useless now and now we have it so we want to mostly have another high so you just select it press ctrl D to duplicate it and go to modification my version is in French but I'll be translating um, transformation and reverse horizontally okay so you, you reverse it and it's at the opposite side of it okay so now you have it it's all good it's all fine okay so now what you want to do is that you make sure that it's at a at a good distance so you play with this and the other the other eyes so what you want to if you want to because it's in the same layer so if you want to play with it mostly you just have to lock the other layers and now we can play with it you know, if you select it you can move it like this and you can move it like that you know so it's all good and yeah so I think it's at a good distance now so now you can unlock those layers so now we have it it's all good it's all fine it's all right uh, at the second part I'll show you how to add those shade all those the pupil that I did in one of my tutorials so I'll be redoing this at the different shade to make it looking more realis realistic and all good and if you want to see that it's all good I'll just add a similar nose and maybe the mouth like this because I like that it's funny to see a character like this I mean so yeah so real for real I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial which is pro that I did I think pretty fast and I hope to see you in next time I hope yeah and we'll mostly fix the size and everything on this tutorial okay good so bye guys